in all things, power is shared. There's one place where it's officially not shared, and there's another place where it's unofficially not shared. <laughs> okay. and, and the official place where it's where it's not shared is in hiring and firing. Right. That okay. that is the purview of the students only. Oh, okay. So at, the, at the end of the year, for our last meeting, the adults leave the room, mm. and the students do an evaluation. They give us feedback, and they decide if we have a job next year. Okay. And when it comes to hiring and firing, the students have the final set. Cool. So that's that's the official difference. And then the unofficial thing is that the the person who can craft a better argument usually has more power at the meeting. So yeah. so unfortunate, but the adults do tend to be better at crafting arguments. Mm -hmm. So they, they we really have to hold ourselves back in order to try to keep things more equal. Right. That speaks to a cultural element that has developed in your school, is that you maintaining adult presence that is attuned to that, that, that realizes, oh, we have to be responsible as adults to be giving them, and this gets to the agency piece that, that is the agentic schools piece, is you're, you're facilitating their agency, therefore you need to be careful with how you use yours. That's right. And you and you stopped yourself from continuing the sentence with the word giving because right, right. That, that is the case. We are not giving them freedom. We are not giving them anything. We are holding ourselves back from curtailing the freedoms. Exactly. This is the Agentic Schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.